million dollars. Ten million earthlings. Send no money now. Call this number now. Call now. Pledge today. 18-year-old Bryson Cherry is not viewing the rings of Saturn. He's looking at a campus landmark no longer in service. It was a really cool place. It got to learn a lot about space, like hands-on stuff, and it was easy to learn. It's kind of frustrating when the only thing we get to watch is YouTube videos when we have a multi-million dollar building at our disposal that we can't use. Unused since Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma blew in and damaged the planetarium practically beyond repair. The planetarium closing after 43 years with a $9 million list of damages and repairs, including a new roof. Next year, the school will ask for money from the legislature. I'm astronaut Winston Scott. Money from the legislature may never arrive. Be sure to call in your pledge today to save the Space Coast Planetarium. Thank you. This is your chance. It may be your last chance to save the planetarium. State Representative Randy Fine says he wants to help. Telling News 6, in no other place in America is understanding the potential of space more important. Call now. Pledge today. Getting results for the planetarium will include modernizing the 48,000 square foot building. Upgrades were recommended even before the hurricane. In Coco, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. Ten million dollars. Ten million earthlings. Send no money now. The school says if it doesn't get results with the help of the legislature, it will plan other ways to try to raise that money. Other ways indeed. I'm NBC space correspondent Jay Barbary, and we need a planetarium on the Space Coast. This is your chance. It may be your last chance to save the planetarium. Save the planetarium. America, this may be your last chance. People of Earth, attention. People of Earth, attention! People of Earth, attention! People of Earth, attention!